next trailer up for viewing is a sci-fi series. I don't know what network it's coming on, but the title is called For All Mankind. And one of the reasons that I decided I was interested to watch it was not just because it was a sci-fi series, but because it has Joel Kinnaman in it. And I like him. I have liked him ever since I saw him in The Killing. I think that's what it was called, that show that was on, oh shoot, what channel was that show? Well, anyway, I think it was The Killing. And uh, he was very, very good in there. And that was the first time I paid attention to him as an actor. So I've, I've liked to sort of check out things that he's been in ever since then. So let's see what this sci-fi series is about. Three, two, one. <sighs> oh, it's an apple. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a live signal. Is this really happening? The Russians put the first man on the moon. Oh, alternate reality then. Okay. He thought it was about being first. It turns out the stakes are much bigger than that. We will be the ones reaching into space for all of mankind. Nixon wants us to put a woman on the moon. Anybody tell the president that we don't have any female astronauts? You are officially astronaut candidates. It's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy, Tracy. It's dangerous. I want this. Signed up for it. No, it's what we signed up for. How many moms do you know be training to go into outer space? We still get up there and push the envelope every single day. The world's changing, and you help change it. If we wait, the Russians will win this. Okay, um, so it's right off the bat, I know that this will be something that I won't be watching. Well, I mean, unless I'm able to obtain it outside of Apple TV, like if it comes on some other sort of, which I doubt it will, um, streaming service or whatever. So I know right off the bat that I most likely will not be seeing this anytime soon. Secondly, I, it's not really sparking interest with me, primarily because what was the sci-fi aspect of it? I couldn't figure out what the sci-fi aspect of it was, unless it's just it was an alternate reality, but that's not really sci-fi to me, you guys. So what am I missing here? I was waiting for something, well, I mean, maybe science fiction because it's about space? I mean, when I think sci-fi, you guys, I think of things like Star Trek or Star Wars. I don't think of character dramas about people going to the moon or alternate realities of, you know, the Russians beat us, so now we're going to try to get to the moon and it's got to be a woman. I, this just seems like a drama. So, um, maybe I'm not fully awake and I'm missing something here. Maybe you guys can explain this to me. I'm expecting, I was expecting to see some other type of technology, some sort of, you know, very different technology that made this sci-fi-ish, but I, I don't know. And it is not really actually, this is not, it's just not very interesting to me. Um, and I'm, I was wondering, well, not wondering, but I was getting the feeling this, this trailer felt too long. It was for a series, yes, and I, a lot of times it, it seems to me that series trailers tend to go a little bit long because they're advertising more than just a movie, right? They've, they've got a whole, you know, storyline of several episodes to sort of tease for you. 
this clocked in at under uh, a minute and 51 or a minute and 50 seconds and it felt like it just it felt like it went on about 15 to 20 seconds too long like it didn't need to be as long as it was um, it, it, it sort of towards the end was when it started to feel like that I was like okay this just get on with it so I don't know if part of that was just maybe <laughs> I was feeling a little bit agitated uh, annoyed because this wasn't ended up this was not ending up as a sci-fi thing to me and I kept waiting for it and it wasn't happening um, so maybe it's more maybe that was it was just kind of like my irritation was it was just so yeah uh, anyway I don't know um, this is uh, one of those other trailers out of several where I well you know I didn't really go into it being wrong I went into it based on it's what it says it was and it ended up not looking like that at all to me so this is not really one of those times where I was I feel like this was false advertisement that's what this was false advertisement you guys <laughs> okay I was expecting something a little bit more um, exciting a little bit more compelling for me and it just it didn't get me there so I I, I don't I don't think I will go out of my way to try to watch this or anything so unfortunately this is the second trailer in a row now that I've watched that I've felt that way about oh I feel like I'm like am I gonna bat out is the next one gonna be strike out I mean is the next one gonna be um, the third in a row <sighs> that it's, it shows a story that I'm not interested in Oh, well, won't know until I get to it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and maybe check something else out. Bye.